Good morning. Welcome to Dulcimer Diary number three. I've had some people ask me about left hand fingerings for flat picking. What I use is dependent upon the complexity of the music I'm trying to pull off. So let me just take you on a little tour here of some of what works for me. I might even go over some things that other folks find useful. So my left hand, I'm just gonna use an index finger when things are simple. That's only for the easiest stuff. Two fingers will get you a lot further. So uh, index and middle. Sometimes I use index and ring. Uh, sometimes all three ring, middle, index. to pinky middle index. Gary Gallier has a thumb method, which I think you can get some real good use out of it. I'm not really holding the dulcimer right now to make that comfortable for me. Um, if I if I was going to do a lot of that, I would probably flatten this and angle it away from me a little, and then my hand lays better. I like to bring in four fingers, and everything I've done up to this point has been open one, two, and three. But um, you bring in that fourth finger, the pinky, and you can play up to the fourth fret and still make use of that open D on the bass. And then I do a position shift here. And that is, that's pretty cool to be able to get from D up to this B. That is really neat to, to be able to do that and have a separate finger for every note. When I'm playing, you know, I'm not thinking so much about shifting between all those different fingering methods. When things get fancier, I tend to use the multiple finger, the three and the four finger approaches. When things are simpler, I go to one and two finger approaches. Let me just improvise a little bit and uh, we'll see what comes out. I'm mostly going to just think simple or fancy. So here's more simple. <laughs> Fancy. 
this fly picking business is coming along. Uh, still very weird. It's very strange going to a new way of picking. I think the strumming is working out pretty good. But I have a hard time going back and forth from the picking to the strumming. Uh, I'll do strumming and then I'll do some flat picking. subtle things going on. I mean, it's so strange to, um, it's so strange to, to use a pick. It, you're holding on loosely, at least I am right now, and trying to not drop it. And then, you know, I hold it one way for strumming and a little bit different for flat picking. And it's a lot going on there. Hey, I've got some stuff coming up. Um, Towns in Tennessee. This month. Very soon. Go to stevenzebra.com. I'm doing a three-day intensive. So if you want to get nerdy with me. it's um, We cover a ton of topics. We always start on beginner. Then we do intermediate. Then advanced. So... If you're a beginner, don't go unless you're adventurous and brave. But you're welcome to. And um, I would say I have a lot of intermediates. But on every topic, I touched on the advanced stuff, too. So if you're advanced, it gives you a real good overview of everything. How have you people been doing? I am uh, ready to uh, do some gigs. Palestine, Texas is coming up. That ought to be pretty good. Virginia Beach, Virginia. So, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think I'll leave you with that. Hey, if you guys got any questions, put them in the comments. I'd like to try something where I read the comments more and then answer them sometimes in um, upcoming videos. So, let me know what you got. Please check out Mountain Dulcimer A to Z dot com. I've literally got hundreds of hours of video on there. So uh, if you want to get better on your dulcimer, go check that out. Thanks a lot for checking in and I'll see you soon. Adios.